Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I want to show you how easy it is to use the Data Color Spider 5 to color calibrate your monitor. Now, this is the Spider 5 Pro box. However, I use the Elite. But if you also, if you get the basic version, the hardware is the same, which is really good because if you get the basic one and decide you need the either Pro or Elite later on, you can simply upgrade the software. So that's the only real difference. But for this little quick tutorial, the software is for, for what we're doing today is all completely the same. So let's get in here and get started. Okay, there's a few things we need to do. One, you need to have your monitor already warmed up. That's no problem. The second is you need the, all the uh, ambient light set in your office to what you normally use it as. Now, for this little tutorial, I happen to have a lot of you know, my two studio lights on. So it's a little extra bright than what I normally would have it. So it's going to be a little off, and I actually have to go back and recalibrate it after this. That's no big deal. This is actually really simple. But I wanted to show everybody. So for demonstration purposes, you know, no big deal at all. Now, when you buy it, all you actually get in the box is the actual... Uh, calibrator, you know, and a serial code for the software you purchased. Like I said though, you can always upgrade that uh, software to either the, the Pro or the Elite, depending on what you bought. Okay, so now we got that done. Take it off here, and it's got a little wire. It connects by USB, and it's got some Velcro in it, which makes it a little pain in the butt sometime to get off. You take it out and stretch it out. Now you have two halves. This is the side right here that actually will check the computer screen. And this kind of hangs off the back, this little protective cover, to actually uh, kind of act as a counterweight. So if you got any kind of like little HD web webcam at the top, just kind of move that out of the way temporarily. And just kind of pitch this over. And let it just hang there for a second. But you go ahead and plug it up to USB to, uh, port. And we're good to go. All right. Now we actually need to bring up the software. See if I can't find mine, wherever I put it. Okay, now we have mine loading up here. And of course it has a little checklist here. Warm up, lighting conditions, display controls, you know, spider connection, all the things you need to go through first. Now it's going to ask you to click next once you got all this done. And of course this is a desktop. And so I'm going to choose desktop. And it's going to ask me to choose my display manufacturer, which is BenQ, and my model. And the adjustments I have on this one are brightness. I don't have any Kelvin presets, so I'm not messing with those. Go ahead and click Next. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click Full Cal, just because I want to show everybody the full calibration and how it normally goes through. Of course, if you're doing this over and over, you can just do a recal every month. All right, now we have our gamma, uh, gamma 2.2 recommended, white point, uh, point 6500 Kelvin recommended, and brightness F200. Now that's probably gonna be a little off since I got so much light going on in this room. And here on top of the actual uh, spider checker is a little light sensor. And it's gonna detect that ambient room light and stuff and kind of try to adjust it. So let's go ahead and click next. And it's going to tell you some more stuff. Make sure you have no intense light falling on directly. We don't have any intense, but I do got a lot of background light. As you can see, it's probably making the front of my face look a little dark in this video. Let's go ahead and click Next. Okay, now we see over here on the screen, this is where it, you want to put it. Let's kind of hang mine over there. Now you notice mine's a little sh uh, off a little bit. I have to lean my display back, and you probably have to lean yours back a little bit too to get to sit just right on there. And once you get that done, let's go ahead and click next. Now at this point, it's going to run through some different colors and stuff that it uses to calibrate it. So just let it run through its uh, color calibration right quick, and at some point, it's actually going to tell us, "Hey, we need to brighten uh, lower or darken the actual brightness of our monitor here." Okay, well now it's reached that. Uh, target calibration and it says what the target is, what the current is, and we can adjust it. Now if you'll notice right here on the screen it's got a little green area. That's where you kind of want it in between there. 
Mine says it's pretty much close enough. I'm going to just go ahead and leave it as it is and go ahead and click continue. But if you need to adjust this uh, up or down, just go into the brightness setting of your monitor and adjust it either which way. You know, currently it says 197. Ah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and click continue. And now it's going to go through and keep on uh, refining the white point and the brightness and everything on the display. And it's going to go through some deep colors. Like right now it's like a deep dark red. You probably can't notice. Here's another deep dark red. And it's going to go through and make sure all those colors that are being shown through the screen match the, uh, what's being read by this and in the software. And this is how it actually does the color calibration. Okay, wonderful. It's finally complete. So now we can remove this little spider five here. Put our cover back on it and click finish. Okay. Let me angle the display back down so I can see it. And right now it's going to give you save profile name. I'm going to leave mine as the BenQ BL3200 TAC1. And it's also got a calibration reminder. Now, I do one month reminders. However, there is other options every day, every two days, week, two weeks, you know, all the way up to just once every six months if you so desire. Now, there's probably are some professionals that may want to do this every week. Uh, my monitor's pretty stable. I'm not going to bother with it. I'm just going to leave it on once a month. And to be quite honest, it'll probably remind me for two or three weeks before I actually get around to calibrating again. So, anyway... Let's go ahead and click save. And uh, there we go. And it says, congratulations, profile's been saved. Now you're probably wondering why do you need to do it more than once? You know, before I get ahead of myself here. Over time monitors, the quality of the colors do change and degrade. The uh, temperature can go from like a uh, nice neutral color at first. It can yellow over time. There's a lot of little different variables they can make the quality of your monitor degrade over time. So it's always good to do it every month. And that way you know what's up and up for your monitor. Because you don't want to be using something for two or three years and realize all your photos or colors messed up. So, okay. Now I've got that done. Let's go ahead and click next. And now it's got a little uh, calibration view where you can double check and see the differences uh, on these. I'm not going to mess with this. But if you ever want to watch uh, check y'all's, you always can. So anyway... Let's go ahead and click next, and it also shows you uh, what you can display here. Mine, of course, the monitor says 100% of sRGB here. NTSC, 76% of NTSC, which is pretty decent. And it shows 80% of Adobe RGB, which is actually really good. Okay, let's go ahead and click quit, and uh, we're done. That's Well, that's it, everyone. That's how easy it is to color calibrate your display using the Spider 5. So anyway, if you liked this video and you found it helpful, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, you'll take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is easy, it's for you, and let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.